are you feeling the need for some change do you feel that something's going to happen <laughs> in some area of your life are you feeling a deep sense of anticipation or should i call it desperation <laughs> i am feeling it in my life i don't know about you are you feeling that there's something which you're waiting from there's some area in your life where you are waiting from a very 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 long time and you are expecting that something may happen very soon if not today this week or maybe the next week well in that case ladies and gentlemen you are not alone and you are not wrong to think like that because venus the planet of love romance beauty creativity sexuality is in now transit to dhanishtha nakshatra so he's already in dhanishtha nakshatra now so on 2nd of march till 12th of march this transit is going on okay it's a very 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 interesting transit like every other transit every transit is very interesting because it brings new flavors okay so therefore this transit actually can give you some good news <laughs> <laughs> but the level of the good news will depend on your dashas or if your dashas are not the best it can also give you some bad news okay so now what do i mean by good and bad dashas so you need to understand to to learn transits you have to master dashas without dashas you cannot master transits okay so first you need to check your mahadasha then your antardasha and then your pratyantar let's leave the pratyantar for now let's focus on this too so the mahadasha so for example if you are talking from a career perspective and you have a mahadasha of a planet which is sitting in the 10th or 11th or lording one of these houses then you can expect that your financial status may improve but that will only happen when a supportive antar dasha comes so let's take a very simple example if you have sun in the 10th and your mars or mercury is in the 11th so within sun mahadasha first sun mars will come and then of course sun mercury comes later so when sun mars comes then you can expect that something big happens in your career now if you are within these periods and venus transit in dhanishta is going on now so it can happen that now you can get that new job that you are aspiring for or you can get the promotion or something could happen and if you are talking in context of marriage so if there's a planet sitting in your second seventh or eleventh and that planet's dasha is coming or about to come or it's already started you are somewhere in mid of that you know so even then there could be some good news so this is one way to check okay now the second way is also important which is to check the houses which venus lords in your chart which means depending on your ascendant if venus is lording uh venus will lord two houses so whichever houses venus is lording something related to that you may get some good news so for example if in this case also venus is the lord of your second seventh or eleventh then there could be some good news about your marriage okay so if venus is your fifth lord then there could be some good news regarding two children okay so if venus is your 10th lord some good news regarding your profession but you always have to combine clues so for example why why am i saying this because the 7th house and 10th house are very clear 7th house is exclusively marriage 10th house is exclusively promotions but there are two houses like the second and eleventh they are also good for marriage also good for career okay it's very peculiar so in that case if venus is the lord of your second or eleventh then what happens will you get a uh, is there some good news regarding your marriage or do you get a promotion what happens well both could happen but now if in your mahadasha there is the 10th house indicated or or the 6th house then it is not a good news regarding marriage it's a good news regarding your job or if your mahadasha lord or and the antardasha lord is in the second house 7th house then there could be good news related to marriage so now the same second house if in dasha is indicated along with the 7th house will give you marriage if indicated with the 10th house will give you pro uh, professional gain so uh, that is how you actually know uh, what will happen because if you don't combine dashas and transits you will be making predictions in thin air and they will fall flat 
So therefore, first check your dashas, primarily 90, 99% or rather at least 90% of your life, what your dashas are indicating, only that happens, okay? And as I said, unfortunately, if Venus is your 10th Lord, suppose you are a Capricorn Ascendant and you are running the Mahadasha of the 8th Lord and your 12th Lord or 6th Lord's Antar Dasha comes, okay? So suppose Sun is in the 8th and Mars is in the 6th or 12th. So Sun, Mars, Dasha comes. Now there could be some bad news, okay? Now, uh, there could be some bad news, but uh, it does not mean that you will lose your job. It could be that, you know, situations are a bit tough, okay? Uh, or some employees transferred because Dhanishta is about beating the drums. What happens when you beat the drums? Everybody hears, right? So some concrete news. It is not like some uh, something which is in the air and, you know, it's like your assumption, presumption, uh, extrapolation. It's not like that. It is like something which is literally there. It's a binary scenario. Either it's yes or no. Either it's good or bad. So that is how it works actually. So therefore, if you have seen your dashas and you know which house has been a slots, now you can expect that finally there will be change. And it is very important that whenever there is the change, you let that change manifest completely, which means uh, many times people when they have prominent planets transiting Dhanishtha or they have a prominent Dhanishtha in their original birth chart, they trend, they tend to beat the drums uh, before victory. Okay, so let success make the noise. You work hard. <laughs> so for example, if you get a new job, then don't just, you know, update in social media. You you have a new job or you, know, you have this, you have that. You know, don't, don't just do it. Do it on day one. Okay, you wait. You read the contract. You negotiate your salary. And then you finally make the update. You tell your friends, family members. Otherwise, uh, there is this nazar dosh which can come. You know, suppose you have an offer and somehow you tell everybody and then somebody may say, oh, we don't want you now okay for some reason we have freezed the position or we have selected somebody else of course it may not happen if the company is good but if it is a startup or some other crazy company like so many companies in this world it can happen that your offer may backfire okay similarly if you get a promotion and your manager just tells you oh you are selected and you tell everybody and then later on he or she tells you oh yeah actually there was some mistake you know it was not you it was somebody else <laughs> <laughs> okay so unless you have it in writing in contract form okay don't beat the drums all right so therefore it's a very 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 exciting time you can expect a lot of good things to come or maybe bad things but generally dhanishta is about celebration so it should be good unless your mahadasha antar dasha is like very bad unless it's like terrible okay so in that case you may encounter more challenges okay but nonetheless, uh, this is a great time and um, Shivaratri is also around this corner and uh, as you know, Dhanishta is related to the Damru, Lord Shiva, okay. So therefore, uh, this is a great time to chant Om Namah Shiva. I do fasting on Mondays, uh, although you, may, you will only have one or two Mondays at max, okay. But nonetheless, harness the energies of the Nakshatra. Um, now... I won't say it is not a good time to work hard because this is the time for results. But still, if you even if you don't get satisfactory results, you can always work hard. You can always go to the next level if required. All right. All the best. And I hope you get some good or great news. And if you get till 12th of March, please write it down in the comments. All right. If you want a consultation, then please proceed to my website down and if you're new then subscribe and like and comment below what surprises do you think you could get all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for sure